Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Knights of the Old Republic. Alrighty, when we left off, we were escaping the Endar Spire because, well, shit's gonna hit the fan. And <laughs> this thing's gonna go down and, uh, explode, probably. So, uh, I dressed myself in the armor that we picked up a little earlier. I didn't really do it, uh, before, so that was my bad. I probably should have did it. Ah, uh, and now we're gonna head out this door to a cutscene. Here. Is there? Damn! Another oh shit! Eye. I'll try to hold him off. You get to the escape pods. Go. But, but how? What? How do you? Would you? Okay. Welp. There's no way to get to that now. Trask has bought you the time you need to escape. You should make your way to the starboard section of the ship. Well, it's not going to let me help. I guess I got to go to the starboard section. Wow, the game loads so fast. It's great. Although the autosave is, is worthless. This is Cardinal on your personal communicator. I'm tracking your position through the Endar Spire's life support systems. Basilis escape pod is away. You're the last surviving crew member on the Endar Spire. The last? I can't wait for you much longer. You have to get to the escape I'm pod. I'm assuming you're excluding yourself in that count, but holy shit. Alright. Well, I guess I gotta do this. Well, let's get into it. Yes, I know how the combat works, okay? <laughs> I know how the combat works. I can do all of those button presses, do all of that extra stuff. Wow, that was fast. Damn, alright. Okay. Well. Let's uh, continue on. Wow, this door had a lot of damage on it. Yeesh. Okay, well, we'll take care of you. There we go. And take care of you. A whole squad of Sith troopers on the other side of that door. Is there? You need to find some way to thin their numbers. Mm. You could reprogram the damaged assault droid to help you if you have enough repair parts. That's or an idea. Or you could use computer spikes to slice into the terminal and use the Endar Spire security systems against the Sith. So it's two options. I can take both if I want to. Have like the little extra assault droid, but the assault droid probably will be able to handle it on its own, and the uh, overloading the circuit would probably do it on its own. So, I can do either or, but doing both would be overkill. So, uh, I'm gonna check what skills I'd put highest. Um, got computer use at 7, and repairs also at 7. So, it doesn't really fucking matter what I do. I do have, from the look of it, I got more parts than I did spikes. So, I guess it would be reactivate the droid, engage in patrol mode. It'd be better to use the one that I have more of. Thanks to RN Jesus. Okay, well, I'm going to unpause it. Going to let them take care of it. Oh, there's a red one there. Even. Oh. Oh. Oh, look at that. Look at that XP. <laughs> That I didn't accrue personally. I just used a fucking <laughs> thing to take it on. And it has its own shield anyway, even though I didn't engage it. That's cool. Seems, you know, unnecessary. Ooh, prototype fiber blade, huh? Ooh. Ooh. That sounds good. Um... It's a, it's a balanced, so it would go in the off hand, which is the left hand, because that's how that works. Um, most people are right-handed, okay? I understand. If we could, if there was a check that make them left-handed, that'd be cool, but there isn't. This game is too old for that. Anyway, um, 
grabbed my coffee and then my ring just lightly tapped on it, I guess. Uh -huh. Alright. I had to drink that for a little bit. Okay. Um, since it's balanced, it's actually... It's actually kind of very much better than the short sword I have equipped. It's got a higher range, a damage bonus, a bigger critical threat threshold, and it's upgradable. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm taking that. I'm taking that. It's mine now. It is absolutely you mine now. Just in time. Well, hi there. Only one active escape pod left. Come on. I'm sorry. We're the, below. the troopers were right outside your door and you did nothing to help. Well, probably because you would die and thus de defeat the point. Anyway. Alrighty. Uh, how do I know I can trust you? Uh, considering you're not shooting at me, I think I can trust you. Who I'm are a you? a soldier with Republic. Like you. We're the last two crew members left in the Endar Spire. Basila's escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. True. Come on. There'll be time for questions later. That's a good point. Experience points. Yay. Alright. Get on to the escape pod, which I assume is this one, because it looks different than the rest of them. Your only hope of survival. Okay. Step away from the escape pod. Nah, I think I'm good. I'm going to stay on the ship and just get blown to bits. No. Let's use the escape pod. And away we go. And kaboom. Or kaboom, we think. Anyway. Well, there's Khan. <laughs> Tossing and turning in his sleep. Um. Why am I dreaming of lightsaber battles? I mean, I just watched a couple, so I mean. Don't need to be dreaming about it. Although the lady was pretty. Okay. Where the fuck am good I? Good to see you up and oh, good. Okay. about in your Thank sleep. God. You must have been having <laughs> one hell of a nightmare. Oh, yeah. I was wondering if you were ever going to wake up. I'm Karth, one of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. I was with you in the escape pod. Do you remember? Vaguely. Vaguely. I had a strange dream like a vision or I'm something. I'm not surprised. You took a serious blow to the head. You're probably having all kinds of strange dreams. I wouldn't worry too much about it. I think I should worry about it a little. Just this for a couple of days now, so I imagine you're pretty confused about things. But try not to worry. We're safe, at least for the moment. Okay. We're in an abandoned apartment on the planet of Terrace. We were banged up pretty bad when our escape pod crashed. Why was it abandoned? Oh, right. capitalism. I was able to drag you away from our crash site and all the confusion, and I stumbled into this abandoned apartment. By the time the Sith arrived on the scene, we were long gone. Well, that's good. That is good. I guess I owe you my life. Thanks. You don't have to thank me. I've never abandoned anyone on a mission, and I'm not about to start now. Besides, I'm gonna need your help. Terrace yeah. is under Sith control. Oh, Their no. The fleet is orbiting the planet. They've declared martial law, and they've imposed a planet-wide quarantine. But I've been in worse spots. I saw on your service... Worse than that? ...that you understand a remarkable number of alien languages. Yeah. That's pretty rare in a raw recruit. But it should come in handy while we're stranded on a foreign world. There is no way the Republic will be able to get anyone through the Sith blockade to help us. If we're going to find Bastila and get off this planet, we can't rely on anybody but ourselves. That's true. She's the one from the Endar Spire, that right? That smack to your head did more damage than I thought. Hey! Bastila's I'm just making Adina. sure! She was with the strike team that killed Darth Revan, Malak's Sith Master. Oh. Bastila's the key to the whole Republic war effort. The Sith must have found out that she was on the Endar Spire and set an ambush for us in this system. I believe Bastila was on one of the escape pods that crashed down here on Terrace. For you believe? Didn't Warrior, you say she was? Have to try and find her. Okay. If Bastila is a Jedi, she can probably look after herself. Bastila is gonna need her help. Many of Darth Malak's followers have mastered the dark side uh, of the Force, and the Sith have already killed more than their share of Jedi in this war. I doubt anyone's specifically looking for us anymore. We're not that important. That's if we're true. Careful, we can move about the planet without attracting notice. A luxury Bastila won't have. She's gonna That's have fair. the Sith fleet looking for her. They know how vital she is to the war effort. Bastila's yeah, is no ordinary that's true, Jedi. I she guess. has a rare gift the Jedi call battle meditation. Oh. Bastila's power can influence entire armies. Oh. Oh, that.
That sounds useful as hell. No wonder they're going after her. I mean, it's not often that Jedi are going to be associated with entire armies, but that is... That is quite a power to have. Uh... If <laughs> she's so great, how come the Sith managed to blow up the Endar Spire? That is like the sassy pants answer. Uh, what's that? Through the Force, Bastila can inspire her allies with confidence and make her enemies lose their will to fight. And often that's all it takes to tip the balance in a battle. Yeah, that's true. There to what she can do. From what I understand of her ability, it requires great concentration and focus to maintain her battle meditation. Mm -hmm. The attack on the Endar Spire happened so fast, she probably never even had a chance to use her power. I'm guessing she barely got out alive, and now she's trapped here just as we are. The whole planet is under quarantine. No ships can land or take off. So if Basil's going to escape Terrace, she's going to need our help. And we'll probably need hers. That's fair. That's fair, I guess. Um, hmm. <laughs> What's in this for me if I help you out? Oh, yeah, let's go the mercenary route. No, no, I'm not going to be an asshole. I think I'll take my chances on my own. How about let's not do that? Let's not be a stupid asshole, Farron Khan, huh? Ah, ah. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, if it means getting off this planet, I guess I can help you find Bastila. Uh, any idea where we should start looking? While you were out, I did some scouting around. There are reports of a couple of escape pods crashing down into the Undercity. Undercity. Start. But the Undercity's a dangerous place. We don't want to go there unprepared, and it won't do Bastila any good if we go and get ourselves killed. Nah, probably not. But then again, Force works in mysterious ways, as I keep hearing a lot. In multiple media that are Star Wars related. Anywho, uh, I could ask questions or get going. Let's ask questions. I'll tell you whatever I can, though I, I don't know how much help it'll be. Well, I mean, it could be a little bit of help. Could get us some finer points of the plot going. Uh, like, what do you know about Malak and the Sith? Well, everything I know about Malak is pretty much common knowledge. He escaped the trap that killed Darth Revan, his Sith Master. With Revan's death, Malak became the new Dark Lord. It's obvious that Malak's a ruthless tyrant who'll crush anyone who stands in his way, just like Revan was. Experience has shown that the Sith won't stop until the Republic lies in ruins. Malak and his Sith mm -hmm. don't respect anything except raw, brutal power. Yep. It's hard to imagine how someone used to be a Jedi to become such a monster. Um... <laughs> It can be really, really easy, actually. You'd be surprised how easy. A Jedi, what do you mean? Malak and Revan were once both part of the Jedi Order, but they were young and headstrong, and against the wishes of the Council, they went to battle the Mandalorians on the Outer Rim. Something happened out there. Something corrupted them and drew them over to the dark side. Or maybe there was something rotten inside them all along. I don't know. They mm -hmm. formed an army of ex-Republic soldiers and Jedi who'd fallen to the dark side, with Revan at their head, until Revan was killed by Vastila's Jedi strike team. But even that didn't slow the Sith down. Malak just stepped in and assumed Revan's role, he took control of the Sith Armada, and resumed the bloody conquest of the Outer Worlds. Yeesh. Yeah, that's usually how it goes, especially with the Sith hierarchy. If there's the Apprentice left, he's just gonna take the, uh, just gonna take the master's place because uh that's kind of how the sith work uh when left to their own devices the apprentice is just gonna kill the master and then uh take his place so i mean should have expected that to be honest <laughs> uh <laughs> sounds like malik and sith have the right idea how about no uh, don't worry, we'll find a way to stop them. I hope you're right, but the Republic hasn't been able to stop them so far, even with the support of the Jedi Council. I think Bastila may be the galaxy's last hope. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. What can you tell me about the planet we're on? Taurus was once a magnificent planet-wide metropolis of towering skyscrapers. But that was a long time ago. The upper city where the rich citizens live is is still pretty safe. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't for the Sith occupation and the planet-wide quarantine, it might not even be a bad place to live, but farther down, things have degenerated. The, the really? lower city is nothing but a slum overrun by swoop bike gangs. Swoop bike gangs. Oh, uh, biker gangs. Okay. 
Oh, the, the Undercity's worse. The Terrace is a wasteland overrun by rack ghouls. Mindless, diseased mutants that attack on Oh. Sight. I've already entered all this info into your data pad journal. Well, thank you for that. Um, rack ghoul. <laughs> That's a name that should inspire some level of dread. Because... <laughs> Just the name alone is bad, but, uh, that is, <laughs> it's worse than you think. It is worse than you think, but we'll get into later, later stuff. Uh, so, uh, we already know about Malik. Uh, let's ask about Karth. I understand why you want to know more about me. I, I kind of get the feeling we'll be spending a lot of time together over the next while. But this yeah. isn't really the best time for long introductions. We should stay focused on the task at hand. Let's just make it short then. Later. Come on. Okay. Alrighty. The sooner we start looking for Bastila, the sooner we'll find her. Let's go. Good idea. We can use this abandoned apartment as a base. We can probably get some equipment and supplies here in the upper city. Just remember to keep a low profile. Absolutely. For some stories about the Dark Jedi interrogation techniques. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind. It can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. But if we <coughs> <you> don't <coughs> do anything stupid, we should be okay. I mean, after all, they're, they're looking for Bastila. Not a couple of grunts like us. Yeah, that's true. All right, soldier. Let's move out. Yep. Okay. Good to know. All right. A locker with... Ooh. More computer spikes. Nice. All right. Um, <laughs> a little bit of foreshadowing in what he was saying. Anyway. Uh, throughout the game, you will find weapons and armor that are marked as upgradable. These items can be improved by the addition of an upgrade item. With upgrade items, you can use this workbench to construct new, more powerful versions of upgradable ranged weapons, melee weapons, lightsabers, and armor. Alrighty. Now... <laughs> um... That is a goof up. <laughs> Adding the lightsaber in there. Uh, insinuates that you're going to have Jedi companions at some point. That's what it looks like, anyway. <laughs> Considering that's all right there. You have ranged armor, melee, and lightsaber. Now, uh, I should talk about the system itself in 2 is a lot more involved than it is with this one. This one is just a couple of items are upgradable and a couple of items have uh, already made up mods that you can throw on there, but only if you find the mods. In two, you can make the mods yourself and in some cases make some items yourself. And as well as that, you can basically upgrade every almost every single item in the game not so much with this one so this one's a little aggravating <laughs> if you've played the second one first which is a problem i've had <laughs> so um just you usually run into a situation where it's like girl i want the Thing that I could make in the second one, but I can't because I have to wait for it to drop here. Anyway, I have vibration cell, so let's assemble that and add it to make it plus two physical instead of just plus one. Alrighty, and now it is upgraded and honestly almost better than my current longsword. <laughs> anyway, uh. Karth's just going to sit there whenever we're in the base. Now, this is our base of operations. Anything and everything we do uh, will eventually start to wear down on our health and everything else. And a good way to circumvent that is just to run back to base and get our health back that way. Also, I'm running around because it is fun. <laughs> and it helps me test if the... Uh, Recording software is shitting the bed or not. It's not currently, so good things. Anyway, um. <laughs> Alright. Um. That said, 
we are going out into, you know, the upper city. So, we're going to start doing that, and we're going to see if something goes wrong. Every time you leave the apartment, you must select the party members you wish to take. Since this is your first time leaving, you will have to take Karth. It just kind of forces him on you. It's like, well, you have no choice. You kind of need to bring him. Okay, then. All right. And even when you're outside the base, okay, you can you select your party members. Everybody get up against the wall. This Whoa. Is a raid. What? There was a patrol here just yesterday, and they found nothing. Why do you sit keep bothering us? Sometimes it'll just drag on. And you killed him. That's how we sit deal with smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. Hey, what's this? Humans hiding out with aliens? They're yes. Attack. Ah, fuck. So much for not drawing attention to ourselves. They were right outside our door. Man, that sucks. Alright. Alright. Okay, come on. Alright, let's deal with him. Alright, gotcha. Good. Get... Ooh, got a blaster rifle, frag grenade, poison grenade. A whole bunch of good stuff. Poor Ixkill. He should never have talked back to that Sith. Thankfully, you were here to step in and help us, human. This isn't the first time the Sith have come in here to cause trouble for us, but hopefully it will be the last. Won't someone come searching for this patrol? Don't worry about the bodies. I will move them so it looks like they were killed elsewhere. That should throw the Sith off the track. With any luck, they won't be bothering us again for a while. Well, good luck, man. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Yeesh. That, that was definitely not a quick way to, uh... <laughs> uh... Definitely not a quick way to be unnoticed. Well, at least we took care of the people who noticed us. There's at least that. Uh, I took a little bit of damage. And uh, let's go into the hideout. Huh? <laughs> and it will fully heal me. There we go. See? See? So that is how it'll work out when it comes to uh, trying to... <laughs> trying to stay healthy without using your items over much. Uh, you would rather want to keep your items uh, <laughs> from being used as much as possible because those things in the early game are really hard to get a hold of. Uh, that said, I mean, I do have a number of credits. I have 119, but that does not mean I can and everything's going to be cheap to get. Uh, so, it's better off that you don't use up all your credits all at once. Anyway, well, since they're dealt with... Oh, I can just go inside. Um, or <laughs> not. Uh, security. Okay. Um, I'm just breaking and entering now, I guess. Um, bag. Hey, <laughs> got some parts and some credits. Who Hi there. Who are you? What are you doing in here? You can't just come barging into someone's home. Uh, I kind of did. I'm sorry. I was just investigating the area. That's no excuse. You can't just go around barging into people's apartments because you're curious. But at least you're more polite than that pig Holden. Okay, now you're just name dropping people. I don't know. Holden, who's that? Just one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hands to himself. But all he got for his trouble was a nasty scar from my vibroblade. Ooh, Too bad I'm nice. the one still paying the price. What? What do you mean? I, I don't want to talk about it. I'm in enough trouble already. Besides, I don't know if I can trust you. You can trust me. Maybe I can help. Well, I suppose you seem like an all right sort. When I cut Holden, it made him back off, but it also embarrassed him in front of his friends. Oh, Holden's I see. a spiteful little hut slug. He went oh. and put out a bounty on my head for what I did. What? That's why I'm hiding out here. What? That's fucked. No, I'm not collecting that bounty. That is fucked up to do right after... Oh, jeez. Is there anything I can do to help? I doubt it. 
Holden is one of Darvik's men. Who's Darvik? You for the local You're just name dropping people I don't know. Oh, he's I'm a local I'm afraid paramour. this is between me and Holden now. Okay, I guess. <laughs> I guess he's in with some motherfuckers who should uh, not be messed with. But then again, then again, I am kind of a good guy, ain't I? Uh, maybe I should speak to Holden for you. Oh, could try, I guess. He usually hangs out at the cantina in the lower city. Okay. It probably won't do any good. Holden's used to getting his own way. Is That's he? one of the fringe benefits of being a goon for Darvik. Working hmm. for the local crime lord lets you get away with things. Really? Still, I appreciate the offer. Well, you're welcome. Uh, I'll be going now. Goodbye and good luck. I hope you can talk some sense into Holden. Well, this went nicer than I expected, considering I broke into her apartment. Uh, I'm an asshole. Anywho, I'm just wandering around like a dingus. Uh, who are you? Larim. Well, I don't see too many of your kind around here. Most of the residents in this rundown old apartment are illegal aliens. My name is Larim, by the way. Pleased to meet you, Larim. My name is Farron Khan. I know it's really none of my business, but you look like somebody who might need to purchase one of those new energy shields. They're the latest thing, you know. Very high tech. Uh, what's so great about these energy shields? When you use one, it surrounds you with a radiant aura particle mesh that absorbs blaster bolts. Pretty handy in a fight. The shield even protects against lightsabers, or so I hear. The shields ain't perfect, of course. It can only absorb so much energy damage before they burn out. An ion blasters will take your basic dueling shield down pretty quickly. And I can tell you from experience that they aren't any good at all against a simple vibroblade. That's why the Republic has been training soldiers in hand-to-hand -hand and melee combat. Oh, and this is this is the plot way to explain. Hey, this is why people are able to go into you know melee range and just start bashing people with sticks and swords and whatnot because there's always a possibility they have an energy shield and there's no way to defend against a stick to the face other than having a stick to block it with so i mean that makes sense that's a good way to explain it that's a good way to do it huh uh, where did this technology come from? I've heard rumors of the Achani using shields like this, but I never saw anything like them around here. Not until the Sith came. When they, where they discovered the technology is anybody's guess. The shields are too rare and too expensive to hand out to an entire army, but a shielded strike team can take out a whole battalion of soldiers armed with conventional blasters. It gave the Sith a huge edge in the early battles, but it wasn't long before the Republic was able to copy the technology and come up with energy shields of their own. Now both sides are scrambling to come up with new weapons to slice right through the shields but until they do you're going to be seeing melee combat coming back to the forefront of this war Alrighty. uh it strikes me i know of a particular weapon that would do that and that is called the slug thrower or just a conventional fucking firearm which is actually a thing in the star wars universe uh so <laughs> if they just grabbed a Glock at some point, that would do it. <laughs> that would be enough. But uh, people don't think of that sort of shit. Apparently because the fine machining required for that sort of thing is has been lost, I guess, to history or something. And they just don't have that ability anymore. I'm assuming. I don't know. I everything was in the EU. This game was in the EU, the uh, expanded universe, and now that's all been wiped clean by the Disney refresh, quote unquote. Well, it's Disney took over, and then they're just like, I, "We're going to start our own expanded universe." So, whatever they do with it, they're going to do with it. That's a thing I know from the old expanded universe. That's. Yeah, that would be perfect for this. Anyway, anything else? Not much more to say, really, except that I've managed to get my hands on one of those shields. It isn't cheap, but it could mean the difference between life and death. You want to see what I have in stock? I know my kiosk isn't much to look at, but my prices are reasonable and my merchandise is sound. Why do you have a kiosk set up here? I run a little shop here in this old building, selling basic equipment to the illegal aliens renting out these apartments. 
You mentioned something about illegal aliens living here. By law, most aliens aren't allowed to have a residence in the upper city of Taurus. They allow a few of us Twi'leks up here, but for the most part, it's humans only. Hmm. But no self-respecting upper city human would want to live in the apartments in this dump, so the landlord has been renting out the apartments illegally to aliens. Better than letting them sit empty, I guess. Otherwise, you get squatters and people hiding out from the authorities living in the abandoned apartments, and they don't pay rent. Well, that's kind of us. Also, <laughs> that's kind of fucked that the majority of other life forms in the universe aren't allowed in the upper city. That's kind of fucked. I, I assume Twi'leks are allowed because... They're humanoid enough, air quotes, that some of the humans up here are just like, eh, fine. Considering the, uh, sort of, um, for lack of a better phrase, uh, professions that they pick up, uh, <laughs> it's, that might be a good portion of it too, um, this is just sounding worse and worse as time goes on. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Okay. Aren't you worried about getting caught? The terrorist authorities pretty much turned a blind eye to this place. A few illegal aliens just weren't worth, worth the bother. Ugh. And once the Sith took over, they felt the same way. Besides, I don't live here myself. I just run a small business providing supplies to the residents. You want to see what I have in stock? Wow, that, what a way to redirect to your store there, bud. Uh, I want to ask you some questions. Questions? I'd rather not. It might be bad for business if people saw me answering a bunch of questions for a human. Most of the residents here are illegal aliens. Questions are frowned upon. I don't want to lose the trust of my customers. If you really need information, go talk to Kadir the janitor. He's bordering on senile, so all the residents figure he's harmless. They won't mind you talking to him, and he might be able to help you out with your questions. Well, I'm hoping so. Ah, uh, since you're not helping. Let's see what you got for sale. No problem. Just step on up and have a peek. You have a military suit. Hmm. Hey, you have a combat suit that I have on my person right now. Um... Eh, I could get medium armor thing. A military suit is has a max dex bonus of plus three. So here's what that means. Um, when you have a plus three for your dexterity bonus, um, that's a, that's essentially what your stat boosts were going to. You, you noticed, uh, possibly noticed, uh, that there was a plus one, two, and three, or whatever, uh, as I was leveling up the stats. Um, that's essentially what the bonus for having your stats at that level is. For uh, dex, you can only have a max of plus three for this armor to be able to, you know, still, or rather, let me rephrase that. You can only have a max of three before the armor will cut off any extra that you have. Um, <laughs> everything else will just be taken away from you. So, that's essentially what that means. Um, that, to be fair, if you're running a uh, sort of ranged character where you're specifically going for the guns sort of playthrough... Military suit, not that bad. If you're wanting to go medium armor as well, not that bad. Um, heavy combat suit. Uh, these ones in particular are a little more leaning towards the ranged people if you're doing just light armor. Because the dex bonus is higher and the defense bonus is not too bad. Uh, for combat suit, you have more dex than you do defense. Heavy combat, that's more defense than dex. But, they're not bad. They're not bad. This one's a stronger defense, but lower dex bonus. And now we get into the cool swords. This one's not upgradable, 
and it's a vibro blade, so it's an offhand weapon. It's not useful for us. Stun baton um, can only be used in one hand, and then you cannot use anything in the offhand, so it's essentially not worth it. Um, vibro sword. A vibro sword would be a good upgrade for the long sword that I have. But it also costs a fuck ton. <laughs> As you can see, I have 130 credits. It costs 132. So, I would have to sell a couple things. Speaking of which, I should sell that. Because they are worthless. Uh, hmm. I should probably keep a Vibro Blade. Just one. And sell the short swords. Because they're worthless. They're worthless. It's not even worth keeping them. Uh, blaster pistols. Okay. Uh, this is inventory management stuff now that I'm getting into. So I'm going to end the episode here for right now. Uh, I'm just going to do all of this and I'll show you in the next episode the fruits of my labor. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat playing games. And finally getting off the Endar Spire. And uh, getting crashed onto Taurus because that was the planet we were next to. And uh, now we're hiding out from the Sith who were... If we draw attention to ourselves enough, they will probably kill us. For you!